The Batbox is the lowest tier of industrial craft energy storage device available. They're very cheap to produce, only requiring three rechargeable batteries, an insulated copper cable, and some timber. After you've placed the Batbox, you can change the orientation of it by right-clicking it with an industrial craft wrench. A bat box can be picked up by right clicking on it twice with the wrench, or by hitting it with any kind of pickaxe. Just be aware that any energy inside the bat box will be permanently lost when you do this. Bat boxes can store a maximum of 40,000 industrial craft energy units, making them useful for low level energy storage. They're an excellent device to start off with if you're first learning how to use industrial craft energy. The bat box will accept power input through cables connected to any one of five input faces. You'll notice that one of the sides of the bat box has a dot on it. Now this side is reserved for energy output only, and connecting an input cable to it won't do anything at all. The same rule applies even if you're not using a cable, and you're placing an energy generator directly next to the bat box. The energy generator can be placed up against any side except for the side with the dot on it. Bat boxes are scalable, meaning that you can place multiple bat boxes side by side. When you do this, you still need to make sure that all of the input or output faces are connected to some sort of cable. The energy cannot move between bat boxes on its own. When connecting a single energy generator to multiple bat boxes, priority will be given to the bat box that's closest to the generator by the number of blocks the energy has to travel. So for example, I've placed one lava bucket here inside this geothermal generator, which we know will provide a total of 20,000 EU. The middle bat box here is closest as the energy has to travel a distance of two blocks. As a result, it has received more energy units than the other two bat boxes on either side because the energy had to travel a distance of three blocks to reach them. Bat boxes can receive an input energy size of up to 32 energy units per packet, and will also output at a rate of 32 energy units per packet. This makes them ideal for storing energy from solar panels, windmills, water mills, generators, and geothermal generators. They can successfully receive energy units via any type of cable, as long as the energy units per packet size is 32 or less. For energy output, copper cables and above are recommended. Tin cables, or ultra-low current cables, will be destroyed instantly due to the maximum bat box output rate of 32 energy units per packet. As your energy networks increase in size, you'll probably find that the maximum capacity of 40,000 energy units isn't enough. If this is the case, you might want to consider upgrading to an MFE unit. A tutorial is available here if you're interested. Bat boxes can also be used to extend the reach of cables over a distance. It can be a little bit complicated to configure, so I have a separate tutorial available here.